Hi everyone, this is Krishna V, a business applications MVP. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will create a power app in Microsoft Dataverse for Teams. By end of this video, we will learn how to install power app in Microsoft Teams, creating tables for the power app, creating a power app with branding, deploy the app in Microsoft Teams with various channels, share the power app with other members in the organization with various level of permissions. Before any further delay, let's jump onto the topic. I have connected onto Microsoft Teams Windows client. I have created a new team called Create Power Apps for Teams and I have added Stella Jason as a member of this team. Now let us go ahead and install Power Apps on Microsoft Teams. In order to do that, click on Apps, search for Power Apps. Select Power Apps, click on Open. As soon as you open, it will install Power Apps on Microsoft Teams. Remember, this is the app we are installing on top of Microsoft Teams. As soon as the app got installed, user will be redirected to the home page of Microsoft Teams Power Apps environment. If you notice here, since that I have already installed and added few apps, we see some apps as part of the recent apps. If not, ideally, it will be blank. If you want to create an app, you can create by clicking on create an app or you can also do by clicking on new app. As soon as user click on new app, it will prompt the user to select which team you want to create this power app onto. It will by default list out all the teams user has access onto. Now I'm selecting create power app for teams and I'll say create. It will take few minutes to create a new environment to create all the apps associated to this particular team. As soon as the environment is ready, power app will ask you to provide a name for your newly created app. Before we provide the app name, I want to show you few things owner will be notified as soon as the environment is ready. Step one is the owner will be notified with an email stating that this is the name of the team we are creating apps onto. So the team's name is ready to use power app. And also if you log on to power platform admin center, you will see a new environment created with this name against this user. Now let me provide my app name as project management. I'll say save. Now it will assign this name for my app. Before I do anything, I want to show you few key points which we have to know. First thing is as part of the tree view, we will see this app is running under what context. It is showing clearly as the app is running under Microsoft Teams context. So I can get few of the parameters of that Microsoft team. Example, what is the name of my team? What is the ID of the team? By default, Power App has added one screen with few controls on the screen. They are a container with a, a edit form and another container with a gallery to associate the table we want to show as part of the screen. Now let me go to data, create a table to store the data. I'm going to name my table as project details. Click on create. In Microsoft Teams, while creating tables, it is more handy than creating table in classic Dataverse environment because it gives you a modern UI to add the columns much faster than adding columns in Dataverse. Now let me go ahead and change the default name of the primary column, project name. By clicking on this plus, we can add additional columns as part of this table. Start date. I want to associate this start date with the data type as date. These are all the various other data types I can select while creating the columns to the table. Add another column called status with the type as choice. If you notice here, I can add my choices then and there by selecting the data type as choice. And now I'm going to provide my choices as active and close. Click on create. Now I want to add another column to show project description. We all know that project description cannot be as a single line of text. I want to add it as a multi line of text. If you notice here, there is no way I can add from this pop up window. How I can do that is discard changes, say close, click on build. It will show all the artifacts which are associated with this Microsoft team. Click on see all tables. This is the table we have created just now. 
select the table. If you notice here, this is exactly the same behavior what we see while we are creating tables in Dataverse. I'll say create a column, project description. If you click on data type, it will show you all the other various data types which we have not seen while creating columns in the pop-up window. One of the column we have not seen is text area was not there, image data type was not there, multi-line text was not there. Now I want to select multi-line text for my description and I'll say done. Now I want to create relations to user table because I want to create project manager as a people picker column. To do that, click on relations, add a new relation, many to one and I'll say which table I want to get from which is nothing but user table. I will say the name as manager. By clicking on done, it will add the relation between this table to user table with the relation as many to one. This is one way to create the relation and the other way and the easiest way is click on add columns, say project manager, select the data type as lookup, select the related table as user. This will also create the relation to user table to show the project manager as a people picker field, say done. Now if you go and see project manager is a lookup column and under relations, the project manager got related with the table user and the relation type as many to one. I'll go ahead and click on save table. Now I want to go back to my app, click on apps, select project management. Now let's go ahead and bind the gallery to project details and also the form with project details. As soon as I associate the form with the data source, I see all the default columns of the project details table. If you notice, I don't see the project manager because it is a lookup column. Let us go ahead and add the project manager by clicking on edit fields, add field, project manager, say add. That will add my project manager. Let us test how the values come into picture. To test the Power App in Microsoft Teams, all we need to do is go ahead and click on preview. It will run the app to test it. Click on new record. I'll say automate the travel details, start date. If you notice here, the date picker in Microsoft Teams is completely different experience when you compare with the date picker in Power Apps. These controls are called fluid controls. Microsoft has completely redesigned and making user experience much, much better by creating these fluid controls. I can select the start date as 21 and I'll say the end date as July and 15. If you notice here, as soon as I select the month and date, the date is getting associated with the date picker. There is no need to say OK or cancel because it is by default associating. I'll say active project description as this is to automate the travel details in the R and I'm going to select my project manager as Krishna Vandanapu. If you notice here, it will show the user who are all part of this Microsoft team. I'll say Krishna save. There you go. It got added successfully. The next step, what we want to do is we want to customize the look and feel of this app by adding some more branding as part of the screen. The first step what I want to do is I want to add a rectangle on the screen to add a header. To do that, click on plus and add the rectangle by clicking on shapes, select a rectangle. Now if you notice the rectangle has been overlapped on the existing controls because default controls were created with the relative positioning in the screen. How we can adjust these controls as by changing the height and width as part of these properties. Now I want to add the right container right next to this rectangle. How I can do that is say rectangle to dot y plus. So the time I say the y position of this right container one is rectangle two dot y plus rectangle two dot height. This automatically went down. Now I need to adjust the height of this rectangle by selecting the height property. By default, the height of this rectangle is parent dot height. Now what I need to do is I need to subtract the height of this rectangle. This is all the responsive design what we are doing. Now this got settled down. All I have to do is I need to push the left container also little down. Let me go ahead and do the same left container also. Now if I play the app, I can see 
my header separately. I don't need this label anymore because I want to add one label with a different font to style my heading. Let me go ahead and select label. I have added a label on top of my rectangle and added the text as project details. Keep that in your mind that we don't see all the properties what we see as part of the classic power app maker portal now that we have added the heading i don't need this heading anymore i'm going to delete this heading now if i play the app i can see my branding with the heading whatever the heading i want now that our app is very much ready to deploy onto teams how can i deploy this app into microsoft teams is by clicking on publish to teams it will show the name of the app which we are deploying click on next now this will list out all the channels which are available as part of this teams if you notice here as of now i have only one channel so what it is showing only one channel let me go ahead and add this app as part of this channel as a tab by clicking on plus if you notice here the tooltip is clearly showing as add app as a tab click on plus it will add the app as part of a tab save and close the app has got deployed onto Microsoft Teams. Let's go to Teams and see how the app is rendering in context of Teams. Let me go ahead and click on Teams. Under Teams, if you see here, Project Management. There you go. My branding is absolutely adopted with the Microsoft Teams and everything is working as expected. Let's test the app from Microsoft Teams. Say like Krishna. I'll say save. There you go. I can see my app is working seamlessly this is how we can deploy a power app in microsoft teams the last piece and the important piece we want to discuss here is the new enhancement microsoft has released for power apps in dataverse is permissions if you notice here there is no way i can manage my permissions of this app to the way i want how i can do that is the permissions can be managed from power apps maker portal on microsoft teams Go to build, select the Microsoft team, click on see all. By the time I select the table, if you see, there is a new option popped up called manage permissions. Click on manage permissions. It will show all the various permissions I can play around my users who are part of this Microsoft team. By default, member also get full access, but you can change the permissions of the member the way you want. Few of the permissions what we have as of today is collaborate, which will let the member to create a new record, read all the record, but it will not let the user to update or delete their own record. If I select collaborate permission for members, members can only add a new record or read all the records, but they cannot even update or delete their records. There is another permission called reference. This is only to read all the records and none is they will lose the access on this table. Most of the times I would say assign members with collaborate access because it makes sense for me to say that let the members of the team also to create a new record and read the existing record but I'm going to restrict the user to stop updating the existing record and deleting the existing record and guest is someone outside the organization by default it is associated with the permission as private if i want to restrict i can as well restrict by adding none as the permission for this table if you see this data is confidential these are the various permissions i can assign on the table associated for this power app to the members of the team i'll say save now we have changed or applied new permissions to the data inside a table if i want to share my app with outside my team is by clicking on share with colleagues option click on share with colleague option by default as of today what we can do is we can only assign security group as part of this sharing i have created a security group called office 365 release management team i have selected that and i'm going to say colleagues can use my app i have added three users as part of that security group mr fernando carson and david these are the three users i have added and those three users are not part of of our team which we have seen in the beginning of the video i'll say save what will happen is those users now can leverage this app in their teams now the app got successfully shared with all the users who are part of this security group let me go ahead and log in with one of the user as part of the security group i logged in as fernando fernando kevin now i i can add that power app by clicking on plus icon as a tab 
click on plus select power apps search all apps if you see here these are all the apps wherein fernando got access onto now the recently added app is project management click on that and say save there it is but if you see here you don't have permissions to view this data because all i did is i have only shared the app with fernando but i have not added fernando to any of the permissions at the table level let me go ahead and add fernando as a member how i can do that is come back to our power app select the table manage permissions if you notice here i see one more thing as colleagues with access i can go ahead and select office 365 release management security group now i'm going to say collaborate as the permission for this security group i'll say save once i save that and if i come back to fernando account and i refresh i can see all the data and i in fact i can add a new record project i have entered the project details as project added by fernando so i start date as 22 22nd of january end date as 30th january status active and project manager as krishna i'm going to say save now this got saved successfully if i go back to my teams as the project manager i can see fernando submission also clearly because we have added office 365 security group with collaborate permission wherein user can add and view the existing records in microsoft teams i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you like this video hit like add your comments and subscribe to my youtube channel for all future notifications here is my contact information i'm highly available on twitter and linkedin if you have any questions about this video add it as part of comment i can respond to you immediately thank you have a nice day